I've got a pack of 30 because you never know when you're going to have 30 holes in your tire. So I'm getting ready for my trip tomorrow to West Texas and the first thing I'm going to do the night before I leave, which is tonight, I'll be leaving in the morning. First thing I'm going to do is make sure my bike is completely full of gas. Now, some of you may have watched my previous motor vlog where I got brand new tires put on over at Maxim Honda. So I got new tires. I also did a complete oil and filter change yesterday. So we got uh, nice, fresh, clean oil for the trip. And uh, once I fill up the bike, I'll head back home and we'll start packing up the bike. Now I'm going to start with the left side saddlebag. Here I always like to take some of these sticky ropes. I've got a pack of 30 because you never know when you're going to have 30 holes in your tire. I just couldn't find the smaller package. And uh, this is my jacket liner. It's a waterproof liner for the Olympia jacket I wear. And it tucks back into that back end of the saddlebag just nice. Uh, here I'm putting down some microfiber cloths because it keeps the floor of uh, the saddlebag from getting scratched. And also I have the microfibers in case it rains and I need to wipe up, dry the seat or something. And here I'm putting my uh, tennis shoes in because I'll be wearing my motorcycle boots on the highway. And I'll just show you what I do with my socks. I store my socks inside the shoes. It's just a little trick. Saves some space on packing. And I also carry with me a first aid kit. Uh, that fits nicely in there. And as you can see, I've still got room left for some other things if I need in the left saddlebag. Now we'll move over to the right side saddlebag. And I, I carry a portable drill with me. And in the future, I'll tell you why I do that. But I always carry a little small cordless drill and a few bits. This is my toiletry bag. It just kind of fits back in the back there. It, it has my razor and toothbrush, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff. And of course... I always travel with my MacBook Pro, my 13-inch MacBook Pro, which fits perfectly in the saddlebag, and it closes up. And, of course, i got plenty of other room in the right side as well. Now, this is my Eagle Creek Packable, and this is where I put all my clothes. I keep them in the trunk. And inside this Packable, I have two pair of pants, three shirts, a pair of pajamas, and my underwear for the trip. And it all fits in there, and I actually had room for another pair of pants or shirt if I needed it. Now on the right side of the trunk, I also carry this small ice chest. I don't have anything in it right now, but I will in the morning before I leave. I'll fill it with ice. I keep some uh, food bars in there, my prescriptions, some eye drops, and uh, a few other things. It also has a little pocket in the front where I keep my power supply for my Macintosh and some other things, but I also carry a couple of bottles of water with me at all times. It's just a great little... Uh, little ice chest and then of course I got room for my cap and sunglasses and I got plenty of room here for more stuff as you can see I'm even going to take my little GoPro uh, uh, selfie stick with me in case I need to do some shots so I got plenty of space in the trunk in the saddlebags I got extra room if I need to carry some more stuff so this is just a little quick and dirty video to show you how I pack for a solo road trip it's going to be a five-day trip. I'll be out in West Texas for a few days visiting my brother. As you can see, I've still got plenty of room in the trunk and in my saddlebags. So I'll be putting my other stuff in like GoPro equipment and things like that, cameras. But as you can see, it's very easy to take a, a road trip on a 2018 Goldwing, especially a solo rider. Now, if I was going with my girlfriend, I'd need more space. Uh, that's why I have a trailer. But this is great for solo travel. Hope this helps you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down at the bottom. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with more videos. I will be motor vlogging from this trip. So stay tuned for more information on my Midland road trip. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.